Welcome back everyone, Scott here, and this is our new 25-way graphene ceramic coatings comparison and longevity test. This is going to be part two of three for our prep and installation. This part is going to focus on the hood prep and getting everything ready for the product. So if there's any question as to any installs or anything, that'll be in part three. So we have a Chevy Silverado hood here, and you can see we're only going to use about three-fourths of it. Not sure the story behind this. It did come from a body shop, has some damage, has some bug guts on the leading edge up there too. We're not going to use that. However, we we still will remove it. Applying Shine Supply Bug Off, diluted 3 to 1, and Meguiar's D1801 Paint Iron Decon. Let it dwell, and then of course we'll go ahead and wash it. Proceed to dry it, and here we are inside. You can see that it has significant swirls, marring, some deeper scratches, and some rock chips. So we have three tools we're going to use. Scan Grip Sun Match 2. Just helps further show the amount of defects in this hood. Significant swirling, most likely from automatic car washes. And this paint is General Motors WA8555, very soft paint as well. We have our Alcometer 311T to measure paint thickness. Just as a reference, this is in mil or thousandths of an inch. So six mil would be approximately 150 microns. So five and a half would be 125, roughly. So you can tell it's slightly on the thin side, but not. it's pretty standard for General Motors paint. And then this also is telling us pretty good idea that this is factory paint. Very consistent throughout. We have our recently certified on March 19th, 2021, our Alcometer 480 dual angle gloss meter. We're after the 20 degree mark, which is the top number. That's what we want to pay attention to, the top number. You can see it's typically around the upper 70s, lower 80s. The difference of two gloss units is insignificant. So if you see 80 and 78, that's essentially the same. The human eye can detect differences of about five to 10 gloss units. So if we're starting with 75 and we get it up to 85, that's obviously a noticeable difference and this meter will read it. These meters do have problems with curved surfaces. So keep that in mind. I, I tried to do my best to measure on a flat surface. So there's our average 77.05 gloss units at 20 degrees. We use 24 different measurements. And that's what we ended up with. Now we're gonna use Shine Supply Throttle and Meguiar's Clay Bar. Gonna go and clay the hood down. You can see that even after our decon wash, still a lot of contamination on this hood. And it's it's kind of a red color. Makes me think that you know this came from a body shop, perhaps it's overspray or other fallout, who knows. Point is we're gonna to try to get as much as it, as much of it off as we can before we go and compound and polish the hood. Had to get a new clay bar because it was it was so bad. Even after clay barring it two, three times, it was still pulling more off. Look at that. Pretty impressive. So now we're gonna get to polishing, still using our good old trusty Harbor Freight Bauer 20 millimeter random orbital. The pad is IGL cutting microfiber, and we're using Shine Supply Chop Top for the compound diminishing abrasive so just a before and after you can see unpolished 76 polished 89 so that is a noticeable difference not only are the defects removed but the gloss level is significantly increased that's just with a quick pass of compound as well we taken off any paint nope doesn't look like it still five and a half to six or 125 to 150 microns Still have a little ways to go for paint correction. You see there's some defects that remain, but significantly better. 
So what I did notice when polishing this hood is it needed a lot of heat to get it to do what I wanted to. I probably should have used either a rotary and a wool pad or maybe even a wool cutting pad with the uh, random orbital. It just, it needed a little bit more. And so that, because of that, it took longer. I'm gonna wipe it down with 35% isopropyl alcohol. Make sure we remove any remaining residual waxes. As you can see, not 100% not perfect, but we're pretty close. Good enough for government work. So here's our, our gloss readings. We're gonna take about 25 to 30 readings. Originally in the upper upper 70s. So we're getting in the mid and upper 80s. So that would be a gloss improvement that you would definitely notice with your eye. Not just the defect removal, but the actual gloss. And there's our, I, I had one low reading there for some reason, I think when it wasn't straight, but 84.29, you can see on the graph there, actually two. So we're, we're probably in the area of the upper, mid to upper 80s for gloss level. Go ahead and lay out all of the tape for our 25 squares. Use our Graph Tech FC8600 to go ahead and make some vinyl for this. Quite time consuming to do this but it holds up way better than a marker or a paint pen, especially when this, this hood's probably gonna be outside for about two years, possibly longer. The fun part of all that text is you have to weed it. This is high on the list of things I don't like to do. Is weeding weeding vinyl letters. It is Oracal outdoor vinyl for those wondering. It does hold up quite well to the Texas heat. So I was making labels for this test and my 41 way ceramic coatings test that's starting at the same time. Use our transfer paper, get it all laid out. And I didn't, didn't put these in price order like I sometimes do. I grouped them because there was usually some brands coating and some brands and the same brands spray coating. So I tried to group those together as best as possible. There we go guys, here's our final product. Stay tuned, tomorrow will be the application video. We're gonna measure gloss levels before and after for these products. We're also going to measure the UV resistance, how much UV rays, UVA, UVB in microwatts for how much they can block, because a lot of these advertise that. So please make sure you're subscribed, stay tuned, smash that like button, hit the bell icon so you get notifications. We'll see you soon. Here's how you can support the channel.